Hey, it's Dr. Berg. In this video, we're going to talk about one of the most common vitamin deficiencies, low B1. Okay, this is a tree with branches. These are symptoms. These are roots. I know it doesn't look like a tree, but that's what it is. Okay, first symptom is restless legs, restless leg syndrome. That's a B1 deficiency. It's a buildup of lactic acid. Lactic acid builds up uh, from a natural uh, process of of carbohydrate metabolism or sugar metabolism in your body. So if you're eating too much sugar or breads and pasta and cereal and crackers, all that stuff, and it can't clear it, you'll end up with restless leg. It's like a lot of nervous energy in your legs and other parts of your body. And if you work out and you feel sore a little too long, you could take some B1 and get rid of that soreness really fast because this is the remedy for restless legs. If you look up, um, low vitamin B1, uh, a classic vitamin deficiency, like really severe. They call that berry berry. Um, berry berry affects the heart. And that's why the pulse rate starts going higher and higher and higher with a B1 deficiency. You also end up backing up with fluid into your legs, edema from a low vitamin B1 as well, because the heart is weak. Another deficiency, because this controls the nerve, especially the myelin, the, the outside of the sheath of the nerve. If that thing is gone, if you don't have enough B1, you won't be able to build up the, the, the surrounding protective coating around the nerves. And then you get tingling and numbness in your fingers, hands, and feet and toes. And that's why diabetics, for example, uh, end up with peripheral neuropathy. That's the tingling in the feet and the hands because they have very deficient in B1. In fact, diabetics uh, need about 15 times more B1 than a normal person. They're very, very low in B1. And when you actually give them B1 in a natural form, it actually helps lower their insulin. So it's really good for diabetics. But that's why they get those symptoms because they run out of the B1 and that's the remedy. Okay, nightmares is a classic symptom for low B1 as well. Um, air hunger at night is a symptom of low B1. Coughing at night is another symptom of low B1. Calf tenderness, pressing your calf, this tender could be low B1. And nystigmus, now what is nystigmus? If I were to look at you right now and turn my head but yet maintain my eyeballs, my eyeballs are going in the opposite direction as I'm turning my head. And that's coordinated with something in your inner ear that has uh, these little nerve endings, these little hairs in a fluid in the inner ear. It's like a little gyroscope back there. And that nerve that's connected to the ear is disrupted with a low B1 because low B1 affects the nervous system. And an astigmas is that that coordination isn't occurring. So you'll have this dancing eye. So you'll see the the eye just dancing like that. That's an astigmas, but that's coming from a low B1. And then the last symptom of a low B1 is the nervous energy. Like you have this, you come home at night and you're like stressed out and you can't relax and you just feel this buildup or doom and gloom. Okay, you have this weight over your shoulders, take some B1 and watch how fast that goes away simply because now the cause of low B1 would be excessive stress. When you use a lot of mental energy and physical energy, you deplete your B1 reserve. So alcohol will also deplete B1. Liver damage will deplete B1. And then of course the classic too much sugar or just sugar and I mean not too much, just you shouldn't be eating any sugar because that's going to deplete B1. And then refined carbohydrates and that would be the breads, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits. I don't recommend taking a synthetic B1 unless you're doing some type of detoxification cleanse and it's a short-term thing. You'd be much better off um, taking nutritional yeast. Um, that's a more natural form, not brewer's yeast, not baker's yeast, but nutritional yeast. It's at the health food store. It comes in a container. Take a teaspoonful every single day. That's what I do. Put it in some plain yogurt or kefir. Okay, that's kind of a sour yogurt. And I, I usually take that in the morning and uh, you'll get all your bees and you'll actually help a lot of these symptoms. So go ahead and apply this and I will see you in the next video.